Hello, my name is SN Patil. In this video lecture, we will discuss about orthogonal matrices and some example on, on orthogonal matrix. Okay, so first of all, what is orthogonal matrix? A square matrix capital A is said to be orthogonal matrix if A into A transpose is equal to a transpose into A is equal to identity matrix or A into A dash. A dash means is transpose of A matrix is equal to A dash into A is equal to identity matrix. We simply consider the A into A transpose is equal to identity matrix. Otherwise, A transpose into A is equal to identity matrix where A raised to T or a raised to dash, yeah, A dash is transpose of A matrix. Okay, now the uh, some important properties of orthogonal matrix. If the A is orthogonal matrix, then A into A transpose is equal to identity matrix. If we multiply both side here, A inverse, A inverse, then we get A inverse is equal to a inverse is equal to A transpose. Okay. The product of two orthogonal matrices is orthogonal matrix. Transpose of orthogonal matrix is orthogonal matrix. Inverse of orthogonal matrix is a orthogonal matrix. Okay. And if A is an orthogonal matrix, then determinant of A is plus minus one. If plus is there, then we call proper orthogonal and if minus is there then we call improper orthogonal let us take the example on orthogonal matrix the question is show that a is equal to 1 by 3 in square bracket first row is 1 2 2 second row 2 1 minus 2 2 minus 2 1 is orthogonal matrix so we have the a then we uh, find here A into A transpose. See, and the definition is A is orthogonal if A into A dash or A dash into A is equal to identity matrix. So we have the A matrix. This is the A matrix. And this is the transpose of the A matrix. Means transpose of this matrix. That is row we write in a column. First row become first column. Second row becomes second column and third row become third column. Now here the product is one by three into one by three, that is one by nine. The first row is multiplied to the first column. One into one is one, two into two, four, two into two, four, that is one plus four plus four. Now first row is multiplied to the second column. We get the simplification, two plus two minus four. First row is multiplied to the third column, then uh, 2 minus 4 and 2 into 1 is 2. Now second row is multiplied to the first column then 2 into 1 2 plus 2 in 1 into 2 2 minus 2 and plus 2 that is minus 4. Second row multiplied to the second column that is 2 into 2 4 1 into 1 1 plus 2 into 2 minus 2 into minus 2 that is 4. Second row multiplied to the third column, that is 2 into 2, 4, minus 2 into 1, minus 2, and minus 2 into 1, that is minus 2. Similarly, third row is multiplied to the first, second, and third column. So we get here simplification. This is 9, this is 0, 0. The first row is 9, 0, 0. Second is 0, 9, 0. Third one is 0, 0, 9. Okay. Now 1 by 9 is multiplied to the every row that is 9 upon 9 is 1 here 9 upon 9 is 1 9 upon 9 is 1 so we get identity matrix hence A is orthogonal matrix okay now second example show that A is equal to in first row cos theta 0 sin theta second row 0 1 0 minus sin theta 0 cos theta is orthogonal matrix okay so what is the transpose of this matrix the transpose of this matrix is we write the row in a column 
that is cos of theta zero sin of theta we write second row as a second column zero one zero third row we write as a third column minus sin theta zero cos of theta now the matrix a is orthogonal if a into a dash is a identity matrix so we show to show a into a dash is equal to identity matrix so we have the a and this is the a dash we just find out here now first row is multiplied to the column that is cos into cos cos square zero sine into sine is sine square we get cos square and plus sine square theta and we know that cos square plus sine square theta is one okay so this is the first row multiplied to the first column now second row multiplied here we get this the first row multiplied to the third column so similarly second row multiplied first second third column so we get the second row and the third row is multiplied to the first second and third then we get the third row so here the value of cos square plus sin square is equal to 1 and here plus minus term cancel similarly here cancel here 1 in this way we get the identity matrix hence a is orthogonal matrix okay now next these are the two problem for homework to you the show that these uh, two matrices are orthogonal now let us take uh, some definition proper orthogonal matrix orthogonal matrix a is said to be uh, proper orthogonal if determinant of a is what see for example we have a is equal to cos theta minus sin theta sin theta into cos theta if you calculate its determinant that is cos of theta minus sin of theta sin of theta into cos of theta that is cos into cos cos square minus and this minus sin minus minus plus sin square theta and we know this is circular result the cos square plus sin square is equal to one so we get here determinant of a is one hence a is a proper orthogonal okay similarly improper orthogonal matrix a orthogonal matrix a is said to be a improper orthogonal improper orthogonal if determinant of a is minus one let us find the determinant determinant of a is equal to cos of theta minus sine of theta minus sine theta minus cos of theta so is equal to cos into cos cos square and this minus sine minus cos square theta now minus and this two minus sine sine three time minus sine keep minus sine as it is minus sine square theta minus sine is common in bracket cos square plus sine square theta and we know the cos square plus sine square is one and minus sine is outside we get the minus hence if determinant of a is minus one we call the improper orthogonal okay let us take the some special example on orthogonal matrix determine the values of a b c when a is a orthogonal matrix yes now since here a is a orthogonal matrix it means what a and its transpose is a orthogonal means is equal to identity matrix a into a transpose is a identity matrix okay so what is the a transpose here a transpose is equal to the first row we write as a column zero 2b c second row becomes second column and third row becomes third column a minus b c so first we calculate the product of a into a transpose a into a transpose the first row is multiplied here second row third row so we get the simplification and a into a transpose is equal to what identity matrix that is 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 okay so here we equate the both side and equate the position of the uh, number so for b square plus c square four times b square plus c square is equal to one 
Similarly, a square plus b square plus c square is equal to 1. Okay. Now see the second position of the first row. 2 times b square minus c square is equal to 0. And uh, a square, a square minus b square minus c square is equal to 0. Okay. So there is no need of equating all the element. Equate the only sum element. Now see from this relation, the value of the c square, value of c square is equal to 2 times b square. Substitute here, we have here 4 b square and the value of c square is 2 times b square is equal to 6 times b square and is equal to the right hand side is 1. So it implies b square is equal to 1 upon 6. That is a b is equal to plus minus 1 upon under root 6. Now put the value here. That is c square is equal to. The value of b square is 1 by 6. That is 2 into 1 by 6. We get 1 by 3. Taking square root both sides. That is c is equal to plus minus 1 upon root 3. Now from this relation. Here from this relation, here a square is equal to b square plus c square. The value of the b square is 1 by 6, and value of the c square is 1 by 3. LCM is 6. So how we get the 6 here? Multiply and divide 2. 2 plus 1 that is 3. 3 upon 6 that is 1 by 2. Then we get value of a. Value of a is plus minus 1 upon root. Okay, a is plus minus one plus minus one upon root two. B is plus minus one upon root six, and C is plus minus one upon root of three. Okay, let us take the sec next example. Is a orthogonal? If not, can it be converted into an orthogonal matrix? See, we have the a. Now a dash. First, we calculate A into A transpose. That is, A transpose is the first row we write as a column 2, 2, 1. Second is minus 2, 1, 2. Third is 1, minus 2, 2. Okay. Let us find the product A into A dash. The first row is multiplied to the column. First row multiplied second and third. Similarly, for second row and third row. Then we get, we get uh, first row as a 9, 0, 0, second is 0, 9, 0, third is 0, 0, 9. So which is not a identity matrix. That is the product A into A transpose is a not a identity matrix. A is not a orthogonal matrix. We convert this matrix into orthogonal matrix by making each row row element of A multiplied by unit magnitude. So see, this is the first row. First row we call as a X1. Its magnitude is under root 2 square plus 2 square plus 1, that is 3. So every element is, is uh, divided by the magnitude, that is 2 by 3, 2 by 3, 1 by 3. So this is the normalized vector first. Similarly, we calculate the second vector, second row, whose magnitude also same. So that is the second normalized vector. And this is the third normalized vector. That is the new matrix. Suppose this is the B. New matrix is uh, 2 by 3, 2 by 3, 1 by 3. The second row is minus 2 by 3. 1 by 3, 2 by 3, and last one is 1 by 3 minus 2 by 3, 2 by 3. So this is required orthogonal matrix. Okay. Thank you.